Hey, hey, what's happening with you, YouTube? So, I want to talk to you about the Law of Attraction, right? And, so, I had, like, all kinds of ideals and stuff that I want to do. Because there's all kinds of things that bother me, you know what I mean? So, it inspires me to want to do something about it, right? And so, like, I found out about the Law of Attraction a long time ago, kind of. Never really put it in action until recently. Like, really, really, really put it in action. I've tried on occasion, like, made certain things happen, but now I'm doing it on a different scale. Alright, and so, like, I came out to California, like, with uh, my vehicle, and that was, like, it. That was entirely it. And then, uh, I linked up with some people that, like, do tree sitting. And if you're not familiar with that, tree sitting is like where we like go out and we protect the old growth trees from logging because people are like trying to cut down ancient forests here in California in the redwoods and the Douglas firs. And um, there's like endangered species, all kinds of stuff that has to go with an endangered species of animals like the barn owl or well, some type of owl uh, lives up in them. There's squirrels that live up in these trees uh, and they're only native to the areas and also like uh mushrooms like mushrooms that can treat like uh, all the pots diseases and like the the herpes simplexes and all that and they can uh, cure them or whatever or treat them and so they're trying to cut all these trees down with all these endangered species that like sustain the ecology and there's like big birds and stuff like bald eagles that like to nest up in them trees and of course america doesn't care about bald eagles tell a fucking bunch of loggers or whatever that they're cutting down bald eagle nests and they'll tell you that they're making a paycheck <laughs> but anyways um so yeah i came out here with basically nothing and linked up with them and they don't get paid to do any of their shit and so like i've been like trying to protect the forest and the woods and um yeah, that's been interesting. So I totally... Mom, if you're seeing this, I, I committed a misdemeanor crime. <laughs> like, trespass on property one time so that I can protest and hold a banner up. And uh, tell people that we want peace and love and stop destroying the forest. Um, at least the old growth. There's other stuff that can probably use some logging. California gets enough fires. Yeah. There's some areas where it'd probably be beneficial. But, so anyways, I have all these ideals because of these issues that may, that inspire me to want to, like, do something about it. And so, I became a vegan, too. And, uh, as a vegan, like, it's hard to figure out how to, like, eat right. You know what I mean? Like, you can get on YouTube and you can do all this stuff, but it's, it's not an easy thing to actually carry out at first being a vegan and so like i wanted to have a, a good source of like vitamin d and uh i wanted to get you know my my nutrients um that i'm not going to be able to get without milk and whatnot so i went with mushrooms and oyster mushrooms just happen to grow here and here goes some like grain spawn we threw in a bag of hay a week or two ago and it's doing pretty good I don't know if you can see all the whiteness in this bag. Like in this bag, maybe if I move this, y'all can see that it's spawning in there. And in the back there, we got all kinds of bags over here. More bags. There's bags all in the back over here. Doing their thing. We got more bags over here, and they're doing pretty good. So hopefully you guys seen that good, and I was aiming it right. But yeah, so we started farming mushrooms, and it started on a super small scale, like, and it was just really easy to do, and we looked more into it, um, so when I looked into it, and I didn't really care, if, like, if I was gonna do it, like, out on public property or something, because they grow naturally here, it wouldn't be really hard to just, you know, like, rake up some grass after they cut it and inoculate it. So that's what, like, original plan was, but one of my friends was like, dude, we can totally do it over my house. And so he 
um, got it going and we got it going over here and now there's mushrooms growing and we're also um, using them to recycle cigarette buds at the moment and we're training some myceliums to do that but yeah oh yeah there's some mushrooms in here and I can show you guys some oyster mushrooms looks like the blues okay Some mushroom action going on here. And some down there that look soggy, but we got a lot of mycelium, a lot of bags in here, and they're all doing really good. Look at all that mycelium, it's so pretty. Got some oyster mushrooms, got some older looking ones. What the heck is that? Some stuff on that one. That one looks pretty nasty. We'll probably just toss that, it's kind of old throwing out some hay to re-inoculate. These ones are beautiful. Oh my goodness, just look at all this mycelium. It's so white, white, white. Can you see that? Can you see all that? It smells so good. Like, you don't even know. If you, like, have ever grown oyster mushrooms, um, then you'll understand. But they smell amazing. Like, straight up. But back to the law of attraction here. We started doing that. Now we're growing uh, mushrooms to help clean up the environment or whatever. And so there's people with it in this town. And once we get our my sims trained, we can get buckets to their stores. And so they'll put them outside and people can throw their cigarette butts out in the ashtrays or whatever. And then they'll recycle them with the mycelium so that they can break it down back into organic matter. We're trying to help change the world for better. And here go some more mushrooms. They're doing that thing. Oh, they're beautiful. Yeah, see, we got them planted all over the house. We got mushrooms. And I got a garden over here. We got potatoes and hay that's all actually entirely inoculated with mushrooms. There's uh, grain spawn all through this. And so there will be a lot of mushrooms. And the potatoes, we just threw them on the ground. We threw some onions on the ground. And, uh, yeah, looks like the bugs have got all our cucumbers pretty good. We're going to have beans here, you guys. Beans! that's the plan for that and uh yeah anyways so and we're doing sprouts too and like i go wild crafting so here let me show you what i wild craft real quick let's get into that for a second because i got some we got the sole sole the basically making seawater i love you Okay, some love. We do the distilling the of water here. Boom, with the coffee maker. It's just nice, clean water. And then we make coffee in the old school pot. You know what I mean? If you can see that. Uh, coffee. Coffee. And so we got mugwort here dried this is still drying a little bit and then uh this is white sage mm, smells so good with the mugwort i use it and i smoke it for my dreams and the white sage burn it to clear space clean the space i should say and so yeah we do that and here's some bean sprouts that we didn't use this morning on our salad Amazing. Oh, I don't know if you can catch that. Can you see it? Oh, shit. <laughs> Blah. I'm going to cook those up in a little bit. I got some more flower pots. Sprouts growing in the dark. If y'all can see that. But so, yeah. That's what's up. We're doing all this stuff. Trying to be self-sufficient. 
around here and I came to this place and like it wasn't like that. People weren't doing any of that shit and they were like all cut up about money. Money, 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 money. <laughs> and uh, so now it's getting more to like people being a lot more health conscious. Like everybody around here is expensive to live so they're all about their money. But uh, yeah, we're, we're changing things. I'm helping use the law of attraction to change things and help people change their lives around my my little personal bubble. And, uh, yeah, so I came out here with nothing and all this other stuff. And I was, like, sitting out here, like, trying to do all this different uh, meditations and whatnot. And I was getting my mind right and learning how to overlap my senses better. And, um, like, things just seemed to not work out with certain things. Because I came out here um, hoping I could get money and different stuff, too. Just kind of following, like, my heart. And letting uh, the chi guide me. And uh, we got all this good stuff happening now because I had desires to basically see issues resolved. You know what I mean? Get things in play, like the cigarettes, the, the me being a vegan and not having a good diet or a source of food because I can't afford to get that. And then we're growing it now and come to find out that that's like the solution to the pollution when it comes to plastic and cigarettes and like oil spills and whatnot and you can even train it to live in salt water and um so i mean <clears throat> yeah we're we're getting into something big big here with that and like i was homeless like i lived in my ride you know what i mean i was living in my ride not having no type of money and since i'm in humble county like i tried to be a tremor grant and it just didn't pay. You know what I mean? Like, I did a whole bunch of work and didn't get paid to do it. And so, yeah, I was like, fuck this whole Tremigrant shit and doing that to make money to get by and whatnot. I was just like, I'm going to have to just eat the food that's out here on the, in the forest and on the side of the road. I'm going to eat this and I'm going to make it and I'm going to get by. And it worked out. My boy, like... I, I d didn't stay over here or whatever, but then, like, uh, his landlord or whatever, the lady who owns the house, came through and, like, seen all this shit and uh, seen how we get along here and, like, just gave me a job to sit, stay here, basically, and to cover my rent, to have a room, just to take care of the place and keep doing what I'm doing, you guys. And so that's the law of attraction, for reals. Um, you just do what you know you know that it's on your heart like if something's got it causing you issues or whatever stressing you out do something about it and just keep going with it and keep going with it and share love to people don't you know what i mean feed into the negativity because there's been all kinds of times when shit gets hectic around here <laughs> and you know I have to be a, a peacekeeper or calm things down and sometimes I'm the fucking instigator unknowingly <laughs> around here so I mean dealing with people is one thing but you, we can make it happen we can all come together like there's all kinds of different races and nationalities of people in this house that I live at like there's people from all kinds of countries that come through visit it's really cool um so yeah, that's the law of attraction, you guys putting it into use. So if you guys are wanting to know how to do it, you should, I don't even honestly know if visualizing is, is relevant um, to the law of attraction. So, cause I don't, I never visualized all this shit happening like this. Like I wrote things down, you know what I mean? Um, I wrote out a list of my predictions of of this year and like of the future and I do that I write out lists of predictions and so I like predicted some of this stuff you know what I mean which was pretty awesome and I predicted um you know what I mean some of this stuff I guess I'll have to walk you through that but really what it is is like you just figure out what's causing you to be stressed out when you see it happening outside in the world because that means there's something going on inside and uh, when 
you figure out what that is that's going on inside, you can do something about it. And then once you figure out how to do something about it, you just do it. Do it, and um, things that just happen, you know what I mean? Like, I was planning on doing this out in the field somewhere, uh, or maybe out in the forest, you know what I mean? To raise money to actually be able to buy some of this land that they're selling because we keep stopping them from logging in. And so some of it is actually up for sale and we're trying to get them out the forest in Northern California. And if we can, like, protect the ancient forest here, we would go abroad. But, um, this is where we're starting from where we are. It's, we can only try to handle what we can handle. And we don't even have enough people to really stop what they're doing in the forest. Um, they're still mowing down trees that are older than this nation. And so, yeah, we're trying to do our part. And thank you to everybody out there online. It gives all, all that cool information on YouTube because that's pretty much how I learn everything. So thank you to everybody out there that follows me and everybody that puts out real knowledge um, so that people can use it. And yeah, so that's the law of attraction. You just do it. You know what I mean? Like figure out what, what's causing you to feel a certain type of way. And then figure out where it's coming from inside of yourself, or figure out like what would make you feel good if, like, if you've seen that problem go away, you know, what I mean, that's causing you issues that would probably make you feel good. But then you just come up with a solution and just go for it. Just experiment, trial and error. Be the alchemist, scientist, whatever, and uh, be the change you want to see. So that's the secret to a lot of attraction. And also, uh, put love out there. Love and unity. Because if you're not being unified and in a loving way, you might manifest your desires. But um, is it really going to ch change anything? You know what I mean? Is it going to make anything better? And I don't know if that's like your prerogative. Some people might be just trying to get rich for themselves so they can look flashy and impress ladies. You know what I mean? Or vice versa for the ladies. Um, and that is really a toxic habit and um, way of being. You know what I mean? Because you're limiting your yourself to satisfying your your physical like desires or whatever. And, and the, you're, you're trying to fill a hole that you're not getting yourself by seeking acceptance by a bunch of people. And... Um, trying to get people to look up to you or whatever and think that you're somebody special like everybody is something special but we don't have to try to make people think we're something special we just need to do that something special that we're here to do and yeah so that's uh, the law of attraction from genetic awakening and it works like it works and if you do what I told you to do just write out a list too, I guess, and make predictions about yourself. And um, make predictions that you only want to see happen. You know what I mean? <laughs> Just write out a list, make a bunch of predictions. Um, don't really give them time dates if you don't want to, however. Like, I didn't do that. I just gave it, like, within a year and then, like, a five-year span and, like, a ten-year span. I made predictions about the future. And so... Do that, and then be on your way, you know what I mean? Make it happen. Be the change you want to see. And share that love, because every time you don't, you run into a fucking hurdle. <laughs> and then shit just doesn't happen the way you want it to happen, or, or it gets postponed. You know what I mean? Because you got to, like, try to fix a situation or whatever that you cause by being negative like so yeah just share love all day every day and do what you gotta do get yourself out of situations that aren't bettering yourself to get yourself into like put yourself in a situation like even if you have to just do it and be alone and fucking homeless sleeping in the fucking rain doing the Wim Hof method to just to survive through the night in a fucking t-shirt. You know what I mean? Do that shit. 
do what you gotta do, cause uh, this is this is a opportunity you have to make the most of yourself and to make the most of your dreams and desires and ambitions. So be about it, you know. And money, 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 it's gonna come. You know what I mean? Really, what I what I want, I don't. It don't take much.